going on creators the creator here back with another video about the whole motor there, there it is motor update so as you can see the motors back on the stand I didn't record that because that was um, well first of all it was raining second of all a lot of stuff been going on I mentioned in my last videos that um, trying to be focused and do this so yeah hopefully about time you guys are watching this video some good things are happening anyways i got the long tube headers on here looking pretty good put the power stand reservoir on there i still gotta put the pulley for the uh water pump on there um i need to change the gaskets out on the valve covers so i'm gonna take those back off and redo it but yeah I did a little bit of the suspension work because it was damaged on this side. And planning on doing the head cooling mod, so not sure how that's going to turn out, but we're going to go ahead and try it. I'm on vacation this week, so I'm trying to make everything happen as quickly as possible. So, yeah, I'm on a time limit, so we're trying to get all of this stuff done. Let's just go ahead and stop wasting time. It is 4 o'clock. Five o'clock gets dark, so let's go ahead and knock this out. Do time lapse. What's up, man? JC. Are you recording this shit? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. Yeah, I seen you. I seen you. That's like I seen you had your, uh, the car. Matter of fact, this one right here, you had this one next to, uh, the Hemi. Mm -hmm. Like, this versus the Hemi. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? See, like, the PLC time. Yeah, I'm trying to get this done so we can actually do it. Like you can do it. You can do it with this motor. So, I had to get a new battery, or not get a new battery, but my battery died on my drill. So my girlfriend surprised me with uh, new tools. So I'm about to use that real quick. Oh yeah. Alright guys, we're back. It's the next day later. You should see it got too dark. So I couldn't really finish what I was doing. Let me go ahead and show you what happened. Because a lot has happened since. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going to explain it to you real quick. So yeah, as you can see, everything is a little set up differently. And yeah, there's a huge mess down here. I can explain. The reason why everything is moved around and whatnot was apparently the motor failed. 
I don't really know what happened. I just know that it fell face first on the ground. And that's where all these markings are coming from on the garage is because it was pushed up against this. The cherry picker pushed it over, motor fell on his face. Basically, nothing is damaged, just a random freak accident. I, I don't know what happened. It happened like at four o'clock in the morning. It was just crazy. So, in the middle of trying to put up the motor, my transmission falls. It falls over and the fluid comes out everywhere. Look like somebody got crushed by the transmission everywhere. Wasn't expecting that. I don't know. It was just a long night. And then in the midst of all that, it was kind of kind of raining, kind of sprinkling a little bit. And in the very far background of my neighborhood, I hear a rooster. First of all, I didn't know we had a rooster in the neighborhood anywhere around here. But yeah, there was a rooster. It's a little weird, but I'm gonna let that rooster do what it's gotta do. I'm gonna be over here doing what I gotta do. So today, we're gonna put the valve covers on with the new bolts. We're gonna put the uh, water pump pulley on. Um, and might do some other stuff, but before I do other stuff, I gotta make sure that this, and you see right there, it's not even stable. Yeah, I gotta make sure it's stable. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this. guys as you can see it's dark outside uh, I think it's about the rain is um, yeah we got a lot of progress with this car uh, with the motor uh, we put the bolts in as you saw uh, put the top part together put the water pump pulley on Torque converter bolts. No, no, well, scratch that. Pilot bearer. We took that out because it was a man manual motor. We still got to do the EGR. We got to put the flex plate on there. Then we got to put the wiring on there. Once we put the wiring on there, we'd be one step closer to uh, what we need to do. I need to change out the spark plugs also. So. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that too. But uh, yeah, got new bolts, new gaskets for the valve covers, intake and whatnot. I might do an EGR delete. I'm trying to do the head cooling mod, but uh, trying to see what I'm working with over here. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but we figure it out. We always figure things out. But yeah, so far so good. Other than the motor falling and the transmission falling, it's not going smoothly, but I mean, it's going better than uh, before. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I'm getting hungry. This storm sounds like it's about to really pick up. So I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Sleep better when it's storming and raining and all that good stuff. So yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, Please like, comment, subscribe to all my videos. Uh, let me know if there's anything extra in a trash can just tipped over. That's how bad the storm is. But let me know if there's anything you would like to know about the whole update with the motor and whatnot. And I'll let y'all guys know. 
probably do it in the video or probably just message you i'm not sure yet but we'll figure out some guys bye guys we'll see you in the next video